Hello, my name is Arun Gupta and I work for Oracle. In this multi-part screencast series, I'm showing you how NetBeans 6.9 provides extensive tooling around Java EE 6 and Glassfish 3. So far, we have seen how to create a simple Java EE 6 application using JSP, Servlets, and EJB. This part will show you how to read a database table using Java Persistence API 2 and display the value in our servlet. Subsequent parts will show how to do Java Server Faces 2 development with facelets, add support for context and dependency injection, and publish RESTful web services using JAXRS. Let's get started. Let's switch to the IDE. Now this is the application that we have generated so far. Let's add support so that we can generate JPA POJO entities from database in this application. Right click, new, entity classes from database. As you can see, there are a couple of default data sources that are already generated for you. Let's pick JDBC sample. It shows all the tables that exist in that JDBC resource. There are several tables that are already populated. This is a new table that I have created. Let's select on add. It goes to the set of selected tables. So we're going to generate JPA entities for this table. Click on next. Let's specify the package in which the entity needs to be generated. This is the class name. We're going to make sure that the persistence unit automatically gets generated as well. And it's also going to generate some named query annotations. And we'll talk about that in a second. Take all the defaults and click on finish. Let's look at our generated entity classes first. So if you look at the generated JPA entity class, its name states, it's got the add entity annotation in here, specify the table to which it belongs to. These are all the named queries I was talking about. Now these are only convenience queries, you can certainly create your own query as well. These are all the fields, getter setters, and some convenience methods. Let's look at our persistence.xml. You can see it has a persistence unit name. The persistence provider is Eclipse Link, which is a JPA 2.0 reference implementation, the data source, and some other strategies for the table. So now let's go to our servlet and use this class. For that, we're going to inject a persistence unit here, which is going to give us an entity manager factory. Let's use all the imports. And down in our servlet method, we're going to say entity manager factory, create entity manager. And as you can see, the code completion, javadoc, all of those works very clearly here as well. Create name query. And if I can jump to my um, generated JPA POJO class, take the named query from here, copy it, and switch back to my servlet, and paste it here. Then I want this code to be executed, which gives me a result list. And I'm going to get the first element from the result list. This I know gives me a states. And let me do the casting here. And fix the imports. And I can actually print the value. Let's put this in an H2 as well. Save the file here, just for convenience, let's deploy the application one more time. So you can see the deployment is happening. So even though you can rely upon auto deploy, but you can deploy it explicitly as well. Now, if I go back to my browser and refresh the page over here, you can see my state value is actually printed over here. I can go back to my servlet again, print a statement here, and additionally, we can also print the abbreviation. Save the page here again. Go back to my browser. Refresh it. And you got your state name and your state abbreviation over here printed very nicely. 
So in just a few clicks and few statements, you have been able to retrieve data from a database and display it easily in your servlet. You can certainly extend this technique to any other Java EE entity as well. Let me leave you with some references now. You can download GlassFish from glassfish.org. You can download NetBeans from netbeans.org. Any question around GlassFish or if you want to reach us, please send us a question on Java GlassFish forum. And finally, follow us on GlassFish handle at the Twitter. Thank you.